I've got a brand new watch here from RZE. It's a pilot's watch and it's called the Fortitude. But I've also got a compass. And I'm gonna share why I've got that compass. But today's about this watch. It's an interesting watch. It's made out of titanium and yet it feels premium. It absolutely feels superb. And I, I'm seriously questioning with micro brands today how good their case finishing, their, the, the products they're supplying, how good they are. And what I've got here in my hands, I feel, guys, initially when I first got it, I actually didn't like a few things about it. I, they, they weren't to my cup of tea, my taste. But after having it on the wrist for a week, gee, it's, it's really grown on me. And I understand the design language. I really do. But guys, let's run the intro. Let's check out this Pilot's Watch from RZE, The Fortitude. Okay, welcome back guys. So as you can see here, we've got this brand new watch from Azri. It's gonna be released in December. It's gonna be available for sale on their website. This watch is a prototype. It's been sent into the channel. We're gonna send it to the next reviewer, but uh, you probably saw the paid promotion. They're gonna offer me a free watch. That's the only benefit I get from this review, but it's not gonna influence my review. And like I said, there's a couple of things that I initially didn't like about the watch. It still has a couple of areas which I think if they improved it, I tell you what, this thing will be, you know, it, it basically would hit that ball out of the park. There's there's so much good stuff coming out of these out of these micro brands today. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. But we'll get onto that. You probably noticed that I've got a compass here, and the reason I've got a compass here is because this watch here is claiming to be better, five times more resistant than an ISO 764 2002 watch. In other words, it's anti-magnetic properties. The case itself has a protection of up to 20,000 amp meters. So the, the anti-magnetic properties of this, the, the, the resistance to magnetism is 20,000 amp meters. It's claiming to be a proper tool, which is great. And if you look at that crown, 7.8 millimeters, that's how a crown should be on a pilot's watch pops out look at that that's brilliant that is fantastic i'm really liking the usability of this watch comes in at 41 mil honestly all week on the wrist i thought i was wearing a 39 mil watch and i think that's in part due to the fact that you've got that bezel but you've also got that black chapter ring closing in that dial which it's basically an optical illusion. It's playing with your with your sensors. You have got a 41 mil. It doesn't wear and it doesn't feel like a 41 mil. Let's get on to the review. Let's screw this thing in and we'll get stuck into the dimensions and specs. So what we have here is a case diameter of 41 millimeters. The case thickness I'm measuring at exactly 12.6 mil. The lug size is 20 mil and the lug to lug distance is 47.5. That's the exact measurements. But if you notice the actual end links, they taper down straight away. So what you're getting is the exact lug to lug distance that you should be, which is great. You notice there's also drilled lugs and that allows for quick strap changes. The pleasure that I've had off this watch for the week, it's been really good. It's a comfortable watch, but I think design wise, you notice those lugs, they seem to be nice and thin and tapering down, tapering in the bracelet. It tapers from 20 mil all the way down to 15.9. And I like a bracelet that tapers, especially, especially a good quality one like that. This is lovely. It's solid, it's got screw pins. You got your milled clasp, as you can see and locks in beautifully. So they've offered six micro adjustments on this and I've not had an issue with it all week. It's been comfortable, it's been wearing on the wrist. I'll tell you what guys, I'll give you guys a wrist shot to show you what it looks like. So that's how the watch sits on my seven inch wrist. It's a 41 mil, it feels really, really cool. It really does. The comfort factor, the lug to lug of 47.5, no issues. As you can see the height, like I said, the specs say coming in at 12.45. I measure this at 12.6. It is a prototype. It is a pre-production model. So whether the tolerances are going to be slightly closer with the production uh, models is to be seen. But uh, the height comes in at 12.6 and the wearability and the comfort is lovely. It's, it really does hug the wrist nicely. This feels premium. The only sort of gripe 
I could complain about was possibly that it would have been, gee, it really would have been great to have an on-the-fly adjustment. I've not needed it, but you know, that would have been just really kicked this thing out of the park. Let's get back onto the watch itself. You notice the crown when I've screwed it out before, it's a 7.8 millimeter crown and there's a red anodized sort of spacer. So there's a, a proper click as it pops out, which is great. But the reason they do that, so when you, pilots obviously having gloves, they're gonna be able to grab a bigger crown. It's easier for them to manipulate this. That's, a, that's its design. But for me personally, I love big crowns, especially on a, a toolish pilot's watch like this. I really appreciate that. But the spacer itself, it's basically an indicator. So when you were to screw the crown back down, as you can see, once that space has disappeared, you know, perfect. It's got that 100 meters of water resistance. Let's check out the movement. The movement itself is a NH35, and that's probably one of my gripes. I feel, look, the movement's great. It's wrong, uh, strong and robust, but gee, it really would have been you know, wonderful to see something high caliber. That's just something with a high beat, something maybe even ETA based, you know, Salida. Gee, I, I just feel that something like this, it's really screaming quality. Put a good motor in it. Seriously, just put a good motor. Not that it's going to be a deal breaker for someone like me. If I was to grab this, just having this in the hand, it's it's superb. I know it's going to go the distance with that with that engine. No issues. Just speaking it as it is, guys, it would have been great to see a nice uh, Salida or something in here or something of high caliber. But in saying that, I've put this on the time grapher and the results, they speak for themselves. It's basically gaining between six to eight seconds per day, more than within spec for this movement. Let's hack the movement. As you can see, we've stopped the movement. We can adjust the time. There you go. Lock that in. Movement starts. Single click and we can adjust the date. The date's at the bottom, second, third, fourth, and lock that in as well. The hand winding experience, it's actually very, very good, very nice. And I, I really wanna share this about this crown again, guys. I know I might be laboring, but that crown feels the business. The latch on experience, first time, gee, a lot of companies can learn from crowns like this. Well done, especially for a titanium watch. Being titanium, guys, I did mention that this thing has an ultra hex coating of 1200 HV, so it's it's designed basically to go the distance without scratching and all the rest. The dial itself, as you notice, there's four different colorways, I believe, in this watch. Uh, the Nighthawk, the Cruiser White, this Turbo Teal, and a Nibbus Gray, and gee, it's just a sublime feel. And like I said, there's a couple of things I didn't like about this particular watch. When they said to me, we're gonna send one out for a review, I, I sort of hesitate. I'll look, okay, send it, I'll have a look. And the dial was one of them, the color and that, that bezel. If you notice, that's a fixed bezel with knurling, angular knurling. And initially on their photos, when they showed me on the website, I didn't really, yeah, okay, that's fine. When I received it in the hand, what I felt was a tool. What I've got here, guys, is a real tool. And it's a very pretty one at that. That color is lovely. It's sublime, especially with the tonality of that, that titanium, the color, it just seems to match. But that bezel and that knurling it just works it just works it's uh something that i thought was a potential negative looking down throughout the week has been a, it's pretty much been a positive the design language is really nice now if you notice there's a chapter ring there 5 10 15 and so forth but it's also got 24 hours on the actual markers the doll itself is a sand textured doll it's a sandwich doll and the indices are filled with grade A BGW9 Super Luminova. So I'll give you guys a loom shot to show you what that looks like. And as you can see straight off the bat, fantastic. And all of RZD's watches, they really don't skimp when it comes to loom. And this, this thing here is no different. The crystal on this is a flat sapphire crystal and it's got anti-reflective coating. It's actually got super anti-reflective coating on the underside. It seems to be doing a good job. I've had it in, inside and out and the dial seems to be okay and not wash out. But again, being a photographer, I always like a lot of anti-reflective coatings on my glass, uh, whether it's watches or whether it's lenses. I think the more the merrier. But um, I'm gonna share with you guys what I do like about this watch. I'm gonna also share you guys what I don't like about this watch. And the first thing that I do like about the watch is basically those end links. I think they're really nicely designed. The fact that they allow for great taper, just a smooth transition from the case to the actual uh, bracelet itself, I think that's really sexy, really nice looks. That bracelet, 
I really love that bracelet. The finish, the feel, the taper, the comfort. There's, there's so much to speak about this bracelet. The design, it is so nice. It is, it is a really good experience. Hats off, seriously hats off. The crown, there's everything that I like about this crown from its size, it's in use the way it actually functions it pulls out the way it screws the way it latches on everything's perfect about this i've had so many more expensive watches in my hand from top end that haven't had crowns well some have but you're basically paying for the money this thing here is just as good it really feels the business at that price point the bezel again another like initially i did not like that i do like that i do like the crown design i, I appreciate what they've done here the drilled lugs is probably another thing that I like for the fact of quick strap changes and also legibility. I'm not a big fan of crosshairs on a dial. I did a review uh, a little while back on a Certina. Loved the watch, but I found the legibility suffered from those crosshairs and the hands. This thing here doesn't have that problem. It's great, it's fantastic. Now my dislikes, my personal dislikes, and again, this is subjective guys, is that clasp. It's not been an issue. It hasn't been a problem all week. They've given us six micro adjustments. I really would like to see on the fly adjustment. I know it's probably gonna affect the bottom line, the dollar value, but guys, honestly, that's something that we're a little bit spoiled with some of these micro brands coming up that are giving on the fly adjustment. That's something that, you know, is potentially a, a change that RZD can look at, although this is very comfortable and this is very usable. It's, it's more old school toolish with your six, your, your drilled lugs rather than offering quick release end links. As you can see, they're not, so they offer you your drilled lugs. So I think it's more old school, which is nice. The NH35 is probably a second dislike of mine, and I only say that because there's, gee, the watch just feels like it needs a bit of movement. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I feel, guys. It's been a great experience on the wrist. It's been feeling amazing. Uh, build rock, rock solid. So that would have been great and possibly quick release. You know, again, like I said, they, they have offered drilled lugs, possibly quick release spring bars instead. And possibly another negative is that date at six o'clock. I like it at six. For my eyes, it's too small. That hole is a little bit too small. I can hardly see it. Uh, I really wouldn't, I didn't, I wouldn't say put a magnifier or a cyclops on this. No, possibly open up that date wheel a little bit so we can see it more. That's it. Or, Emit it altogether, take it out of the way. But overall, guys, a very pleasing offering. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I've had this on the wrist, like I said, for a week. It's been a real pleasure. It's been, it's it's a real deceiving watch. It doesn't wear like a 41 mil, and that's been that's been a big plus. That's been a big plus. It's it sort of felt like a 38, 39 at best. So really cool. Let me know your thoughts, guys. It will be available on their website for sale on the 13th of December. I'll leave the links in the description. It's 469 US dollars. A lot of watch, especially being titanium. The weight, if I didn't mention it, 114 grams. Absolute joy. It's been an absolute joy. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you all in the next video.